I've had a uh, few people ask me about how I go about uh, filming uh, some of the things I post up on uh, YouTube. So I thought I'd cover the hardware I use, uh, software I use uh, to try to minimize the pain and, and maximize the fun. Uh, first off, uh, I'm at my boat here. I'm gonna show you the mount that I use. It's uh, 3D printed. I had problems using the stick-on, you know, the 3M, um, quick mount from uh, GoPro. The mount itself stayed stuck, but the arms, the ridges, the outer ridges of the uh, of those mounts would break off because there's a lot of lateral forces as you're out uh, foiling. So I had to print these up. And as you can see, I've really thickened up and added to the uh, to the side rails. To keep this going. I've had, I've had no problems uh, whatsoever. Working like a champ, I can mount on both sides. It's uh, open on the bottom. So if I wanted to, I could change, you know, the location fore and aft. I just open this up with two hands, which I don't have right now, and slide it fore and aft. In general, I'm finding that the, the further away, you know, from the, from the main part of the boat gives you the more dramatic shots. Believe it or not, from there, I actually can put a foot on the one of the hulls out here and I'll put a hand at the base of the sprit and with my outer hand I can actually reach the camera as it's mounted and I can manually start and stop the camera. Talking about the camera this is a uh, GoPro 360 Max. Uh, I thought the 360 camera would work the best. This thing has been fantastic. I do use a couple of extra arms. You can see here, I've got a long arm. I'm, I'm trying out a new configuration here, which actually places the camera further off center when it's uh, mounted. I'm not sold on it yet. In general, I've got this reversed where the camera is, is mounted pretty close to center line and, uh, and it's about six inches above the sprit. With the fisheye lens, you get a, a pretty decent uh, effect of the tunnel underneath when you're airborne, which is always kind of cool to see. Also, I have to mention this. It's the uh, just a safety lanyard. I've used it about five or six times. Something has failed, something has fallen off, and uh, I'll look up to the sprit, the camera will be gone, and then I'll see that the one end of the string is still tied, and so I'll fish it back out of the water, wipe it down, put the lens cap back on it, and, and sail home. So. Um, I can't stress it enough. Use the uh, use some sort of protective lanyard to, to keep your gear uh, in order. I have tried uh, one of my earlier videos. I've got a suction cup mount that I put. Uh, I would alternate between uh, just putting it on the inside of the the hull here. In general, after about 20 or 30 minutes, it was not uncommon for that to come off. And again, I'd have to fish the camera out uh, to make that just to get the camera back because it, it just doesn't hold uh, reliably. I did a mount on the boom and out of 30 minutes probably of footage, there were a couple of seconds that might have been worthwhile. It just, there was too much movement and it, it really didn't give the effect of, of foiling and speed that you get while you're on this boat. The last place that I've tried it, basically a rudder hold down that slides over um, the end of the rudder. And on top of that, I incorporated the mold for the uh, GoPro quick release mount. I used it once, it was okay. Uh, the thing I was really fearful about, however, was jibing and having that uh, slack main sheet grab a hold of the camera, pull it off, and in so doing also break off the, the rudder hold down fitting that I'd built. The only other thing that uh, I think worked okay, and it's in one of my uh, uh, more recent videos, uh, how-to videos, it's just a, a helmet-mounted GoPro with the fisheye lens and the 360 and the stabilization, both uh, horizontally as, we as well as laterally. I can keep turning my head with that camera on on, on the forehead mount. It's a very smooth and usable uh, footage. I, I was actually quite uh, surprised with it. One last hardware note I need to make is that pertaining to the GoPro remote. Uh, it is advertised as being a waterproof remote. Uh, I'm on my third one now because it's not waterproof.
I found that it's just so much easier to reach forward and turn the camera on or off, you know, the couple of seconds it takes to do that compared to repairing that thing. So for what it's worth, I've tried it. It is not useful on a UFO. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about the software very quickly. First, I use GoPro Quick. That's the software that comes with the camera. It's super easy. Literally, I have gotten off the water, started downloading from the uh, camera to my phone, cleaned off the boat, wrapped it up, parked it, got in my car, drove to my kid's school. While I'm waiting in line in the carpool line, uh, I picked the highlights of the film. I clicked on make movie. I selected a song. By the time my kid was getting in the car, I had a 90 second to two minute clip that was completely enjoyable, showable, viewable, usable. That is how easy it is. Now, the music that's included with GoPro Quick, uh, it might be royalty free, but it's not copyright free. So if you still use the music off of GoPro Quick, expect to receive a copyright claim on any videos that you post on YouTube. Might not be a big deal to you, but just be aware of that. The other software I use is uh, Adobe Premiere Rush. It is free. I use it uh, in those instances where I want to do a couple of overlays or I really want to have a little bit more control of the edits and the transitions and things like that. Again, it's free. I like that price. Last thing I use uh, for the music to get away from uh, the, those copyright claims uh, if and when you post on YouTube is I use Artlist. I love it because I can just type in the mood that I want and it will filter down to that music and you can very quickly identify something and add it to your video. Very easy and expensive. So that's my setup in a nutshell. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to me here on the channel. Also the guys at Fulcrum Speedworks have my contact information. I hope this was helpful.